Okay gather round children. Preston's gonna talk about his DXM trips. Well I'll just describe one particular trip. Caveats apply. Your mileage, or dosage, may vary. Around 9 p.m. I took 30 drixorals, around 900 milligrams. My friend, T, took 20, which is 600 milligrams. I was experienced, he was not. 9.30. The power goes off. It's a really intense thunderstorm, even for Texas. The lights, and my computer, which was playing acid warp, shut down. My sister calls T and I into her room to watch the thunderstorm. I start to realize I am a bit fucked up, like stoned on pot. 10 o'clock T and I retire to my room again. Am I tripping now? I leave the window open so I can watch the beautiful lightning. Let me tell you that is a trip on any drug. I have a perfect little tripping environment set up. My friend T is visiting me from out of town, and he is sleeping in my bed. I am laying on a few blankets on the floor. I have a CD player, a stack of Hendrix, Beatles, and the Grateful Dead. Emphasis to show that this is the all-time great tripping band, and a really good set of headphones. Also I have a journal and a few pens. I decide to start writing down random thoughts. After checking to see if T is tripping or not, he isn't, I turn out the light and put in Jimi Hendrix's Electric Ladyland. Oh my god. If any of you aren't experienced with this album, get it. It's available on a CD reissue with good liner notes. By the time the actual song, Electric Ladyland, came on, I was on the upswing of my trip. Since I was on a rather large amount of DXM, let me tell you I was flying. Literally. I closed my eyes and entered a new universe of Jimmy. I started on a tall cliff overlooking a craggy valley. The sky was a deep purple. I took a single step off the cliff and dropped many hundreds of feet. Eventually my fall turned into a gentle swoon and I soared up over Electric Ladyland. Believe me words fail to describe exactly what I saw and did, but it is comparable to what I have read about DMT. You enter a different universe. Once again, your mileage may vary of course. I won't write out exactly what I was thinking about to each track on L, but the climax was the rainy day to 1983 to moon turn the tides to still raining sweet. This is in some ways the opposite of Electric Ladyland because instead of flying over purple mountains, I was swimming in the deep blue ocean. I explored a shipwreck on the bottom of the ocean. In the sunken ship was a door. I opened the door and saw my old friend Matt whom I was semi-estranged from. We had a reconciliation and I started crying, in real life. T turned on the light and asked me what was wrong. I said nothing, I was just going over some issues in my past. Asterisk note this is described as the primary effect of a high DXM dose, so beware if that's not your thing. I asked him if he was tripping yet and his eyes got very large and he just nodded. He started waving his hand in front of his face and basically just looking stunned. You see he had never smoked pot or done any other drugs than, a large amount of, alcohol. So this was an entirely new, and pleasant, thing for him. He was listening to a, trip mix, that I had crafted for him of a lot of Grateful Dead and Beatles. I opened my journal and scrawled, it's hard to write on DXM. Something to the effect of describing what had just happened. Then I went back into the dream. I finished exploring 1983, the ocean, and listening to the rest of Electric Ladyland. Of course a lot of stuff, happened, in between that but I won't cover it here. I put in the White Album by the Beatles and affirmed the reasons why I have listened to them for so many years. The White Album is another must-have, by the way. It seems to fit Roboing so well, because it is at times harsh and at others gentle. The imagery of the lyrics and music are conducive to tripping. I guess this is why it's considered psychedelic. Dear Prudence is a fantastic song. Later I listened to Europe, 72 by the dead. Like the images of the Beatles from A Hard Day's Night, the dead have a very carefree fun image in my mind. In other words they are a bunch of guys, and gals if you include Donna, that you would just want to hang around with. Well, that's what I did. Colon closing parenthesis. During, Sugar Magnolia, I got on stage with the band and played guitar and sang along. Bob and I were trading licks. I had sort of, become, Jerry Garcia. T later reported to me that during, Crazy Fingers to Drums to the Other One, which I put on his tape, he was the audience, meaning the entire audience, and the dead were shining their music on him. Later he got picked up and passed around the audience, like crowd surfing, which turned into the ocean. During, Truckin' to Prelude to Morning Dew, I was walking around the Sierra Mountains, my home groaning up, watching the trees and listening to the birds. My friends were there, and each one had an alter ego in the band. 
In other words, I was Jerry. T was Mickey Hart. My friend Scott was Bob Weir, etc. We all just had fun and walked around in the forest. I listened to a lot of other music. I didn't get to sleep until 5 the next morning. But this gives you an idea what a lovely and beautiful trip I had. DXM is a wonderful drug.